Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna talk about everything that I made in the month of May. It's a little late, but we're here now. And I've got a fair amount of stuff to show you. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, so I actually made a fair amount of things. There's been a few repeats of stuff that I wanted to make before and uh, I did make a lot of pajamas, I'm not gonna lie. I made three pairs of pajamas, so. So if you're not into pajamas, I'm sorry. We are in quarantine and that is all I'm wearing right now. So, you know, it was gonna happen eventually. Okay, so I didn't iron anything, but that is just how I roll. So everything's wrinkled. And actually one of these I was totally wearing this morning. So it's like super wrinkled. So the first thing that I made in May was a really, really cute set of pajamas. If you uh, follow my Instagram, then you would have seen this fresh off the sewing machine and then seen how much I absolutely loved wearing it. And I've pretty much worn this like on a weekly basis the whole of May and I made this right at the beginning. I bought this fabric in Brussels. I don't know if you have seen my Brussels haul but you will be able to see me pick this up. It was like a really cool shop that was like absolutely huge. That's why I picked this fabric up. And the pattern that I used for this was a McCall's pattern. I believe it was M6659, which has like a whole range of different types of pajamas and I think like two dressing gowns. So it's actually a really good um, pattern to have if you want like a variety of of different pajamas they do like long ones they do long sleeve they do short sleeve they do shorts and what i made was the shorts version so we got these cute little drawstring shorts which as you can see they're really really wrinkled because i was actually wearing these this morning so you know they've definitely been more i've been wearing them all month and then the top is a button up front with like a fold back lapel put these really cute like a uh, pearlescent buttons on them you have the option to include piping all the way around it and i really wanted to do that but i realized halfway through my project i didn't actually have enough piping and at that time at the beginning of may we were like deep in our quarantine there was just no post coming and there was no way i was going to be able to get this piping in time so i decided to omit it but next time i will be definitely making a pair with piping and they have lots of different options they have like if you see here it's got like rounded corners they have a rounded corner option they have a square bottomed option they have all sorts and then there's two dressing gowns which I haven't made yet but I do have a fabric in the back here which I want to make like a really long you know those glamorous to the floor with like long sleeve dressing gown because that's the lifestyle I want to be living, basically. I want to be walking around in glamorous dressing gowns in my house when I decide not to wear actual clothes. That's probably going to be a make coming up in the next couple of months. But I absolutely love these pyjamas. They fit so well and I've been wearing them pretty much like every other day. I have to like, I've already washed them like four or five times because I'm just wearing them so much because during this quarantine times, like there's just no need to be wearing real clothes to be honest um and yeah like absolutely love it would highly recommend and um if anyone hasn't gotten the pajama game yet what are you doing get yourself some comfortable pajamas made out of a really nice cotton that is going to work really good in the summer because it's nice and cool um but yeah those pjs absolutely love i love that i have that pattern because i'm definitely going to be making more of those button up pajamas turns out i really actually like wearing matching sets like i know you're only sleeping but it's nice to feel cute while you're sleeping and when you wake up and you're like i look so cute and you can tell that i was feeling so so cute because i even made myself a matching eye mask because I don't even wear eye mask to bed but when it gets the summer the sun just kind of like streams through my window from about four o'clock in the morning so I've actually found that this is coming in pretty handy for those like early summer mornings because like my alarm goes off at 6 30 so then between like four o'clock and 6 30 there is this time where it's just like my bedroom is super super bright even though the blinds are down and I'd like have really disrupted sleep. So this has actually really, really been helping. I also really, really like that it matches my pajamas because you know, we love a matching set. I have a pattern that I made years ago, like right at the beginning of my blog of making an eye mask. And I literally just dug up that pattern and made that. And that's pretty much how I made it. If you guys want that eye mask pattern, I will try and find it and put like the link below. I think I even made a video about it. So I will link the video like somewhere up here and you guys can see how to make a really, really easy eye mask um, to like match all your pajamas. So that is my first pair of pajamas 
on to the next one. Okay, so my next pair of pajamas is this one. Now this is made with like a double gauze fabric. So it's really light and airy, perfect summer pajamas. And here we go with the matching shorts. Now this is a double gauze that I picked up. I actually don't remember where I picked this up. Definitely not in the UK though. Oh, actually no, I think I picked this up at Abacans in Liverpool. Yes, yes, and it's got like a really, really faint pattern on it. Really, really lightweight, super, super cute. And um, yeah, I used the same shorts pattern as the ones before. So this, these shorts are made from McCall's M6659, but the top is an Ogden cami from True Bias. Um, I made a little bit of a modification. Normally the Ogden cami has this bit at the front and the same at the back, but I wanted the back to be straight. So what I did was just kind of like chop off that top bit so you've got a really nice straight back and I use this as the uh, template for the top half of my other summer pajamas so these ones have also been in rotation with my other pajamas for those really really hot nights these are perfect because they're really really comfortable they're really lightweight and they also like let you breathe so you don't feel like hot or sticky throughout the night you just feel really nice and comfortable so that is my second pair of pajamas. I've already raved about the True Bias Ogden Cami. It is a great camisole to have in your collection. If you ever buy that pattern, you will make a whole bunch for summer and now you can make a whole bunch for bed. You can make a whole bunch for, for anything. You can elongate it and turn it into a dress. You can like add shorts to the bottom and elasticated waist and turn it into a jumpsuit. It's a great pattern, versatile and can make it in so many different fabrics. So. If you haven't got on the uh, True Bias Ogden Cami, you, you really should. One more set of pajamas to show you and then no more pajamas, okay? Okay. So this pair of pajamas is another different set. This fabric I absolutely love. I believe this is a uh, Atelier Brunette fabric. So from where, last time I was in Paris, I went all the way to the other side of town to go to the Atelier Brunette store and I picked up this fabric and it is so gorgeous. It's like a cotton, almost like a cotton viscose and it's got this like beautiful like iridescent star pattern on it really really beautiful and I think at the moment they've got a really good one with like diamonds and they've got one with like dots and it kind of shimmers in the light so I really really love this fabric and it's also like really nice and airy we like that for summer pajamas um, and the pattern that I used is a Tilly and the buttons pattern I believe it's the Fifi like underwear nighttime set I think they just uh, somebody used that in the um, Great British Sewing Bee as well so I was like hey I have that pattern so uh, yeah I decided to make myself some cute French pajamas. Um, I would say I had a little bit of trouble with the cup size, like the actual size of the top is perfect, but my cup size is quite big. So I found that even though I made it exactly to size, my boobs are just a little bit bigger than the cup size because it's not a tight fitting top. It doesn't really matter so much because um, like I'm just going to be like free underneath there anyways. It's not really that much of an issue, although next time I make it, I will try and make the cup size a little bit bigger just to like fit me a little bit more comfortably. But this is the top. This is actually a really, really good construction because um, the instructions show you how to do French seams. Like I know how to do French seams already, but the way that this is constructed is all constructed with French seams. So it's actually really nice and secure and the inside is really, really nice and neat. So that is the top and these are the shorts that come with it. Just really cute like booty shorts, um, nice and airy and like super, super comfortable to sleep in. So those are my pajamas that I made last month and those three have been on rotation pretty much every single day like every day i'm waking up in at least one of those and um i think i'm gonna have to make a bunch more because yeah i'm all about that pajama life now um and i'm gonna start maybe looking at some silk sets because i've got a whole bunch of silk over there that i have been reserving for possibly a dressing gown or like a nice set of pajamas so yeah maybe i will be making one of those next on to some day clothes now so the next thing that i made was this dress so i don't often wear brown 
I guess wearing brown when you are brown, especially when it's like the exact same shade of brown that you are, um, doesn't always work. So this is actually a really, really nice um, pattern. And I picked this fabric up in Singapore. So it's like a really nice like cotton viscose, really, really comfortable, light and airy. And you guys have already seen this dress before. I made this last month. It was the French poetry étoile dress absolutely loved it but remember I made it a little bit bigger than I meant to so I thought I'd have another go and make it the actual size for me and it fits perfectly I really really like how just like easy this is to wear it's just like a really really nice summer dress I absolutely love those kind of dresses that you can just put it on and just forget about it and just look kind of made up this is definitely one of those and surprisingly even though I don't really wear brown that much I really like it in this brown so I have a lot more this goes up there as I said I'll probably make a few more of these I have I'm thinking maybe an animal print next who knows as I said before if you don't have this you should definitely have a go in making it is literally only five pieces it's a super easy dress to make and a super easy dress to wear wow guys I feel like I'm whizzing through these quite quickly that's not like me at all. So the next item that we're going to talk about is this month's submission into my year of pants. Uh, I used a pattern that I have had for about a year, maybe a year and a half, like since it first came out. And I haven't touched it because I was a little bit scared to. And now I've like made so many pairs of pants now that I feel like I can just jump in and tackle it. So, um, so yeah, I used the fabric that was very fun. These are my tropical lander shorts. So I used the True Bias lander pant pattern which is a great pattern it's like a wide leg high-waisted like jean which you can make out of denim or you can make out of any kind of like twill or trouser weight fabric and this fabric I've had for like almost since like the beginning of my sewing so at least eight years I bought it to make some cushions and then I had like so much left over that I've just kind of kept it and then I thought you know what I really want to make some pants out of these so I made it in the shorts version because it is summer and this was kind of meant to be like the practice. I didn't really want to cut into my gorgeous denim. I bought some really nice white denim, which I wanted to make some high-waisted shorts from. And I wasn't ready to cut into that. But I thought if I made a pair of shorts out of this tropical print, I would also still wear them. And they turned out great. This pattern is actually really, really good. And the instructions are amazing. I would definitely say that the true bias patterns in general, they're really, really good at um, giving instructions that like make sense and you don't have to read like four or five times to be like, I don't really know. And the, um, the illustrations that go with the instructions perfect so there was actually a few firsts for this uh, pair of shorts um so it was the first time i'd actually successfully put in a um button fly like with at least four or five buttons this is really weird but i've never actually put belt loops on any of my trousers ever for some reason and these have belt loops everywhere so really really happy with that but the thing that i'm most proud of apart from finding matching buttons in my bag of buttons is the pattern matching. Can you even see where the pockets are? Because if you can see, I made sure that I matched that pattern. All of that took me so much extra time of placement on the fabric to make sure that this matches what is going on underneath. Like you see the connect, well, it doesn't look so great when it's not flat, but it's the same with the back pockets as well. Now, like I'm really quite proud of that but it is matched like that is a pocket and that looks completely one piece and that is also a pocket Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you it, I wasn't talking to you always wants to get in on the video so yeah really really happy as you can see I have pattern matched everything so that it all looks pretty seamless and like it's one print and that took me a long time because I didn't have a ton of fabric left over so I had to be really strategic with where I place things so all four pockets are pattern matched with each other as well as the fly being pattern matched with the front I don't know how I did it but I'm very very proud so yeah pattern matched all four of my pockets, put on belt loops and did a button fly front. A lot of firsts in this one, I'm very happy. So after making those lander pants, I was pretty much on like a high and then I decided I wanted to make something matching with what I had left, but I didn't have a ton of stuff left. So I made a bucket hat and I love it. 
guys. I think this might be my favorite make of the month. Like I've made some like pretty cool things, but this little hat here is my favorite. And when you wear them together, it looks even cuter. So um, yeah, really, really happy with this. I use the um, Sorrento bucket hat um pattern for this i will leave the link below it is a free pattern guys it is a free pattern alert free pattern alert so yeah it was a free pattern and i thought yes these shorts are like summertime shorts let's put a summertime hat on top of those shorts and now i have a cute little matching set i loved it so much that i have already cut out another hat out of another like canvasy denim type fabric because i think when you make it out of like linens and like harder wearing fabrics they last a little bit longer and they have a little bit more structure but this is great like i absolutely love this and um since i've like started gardening during this quarantine um this hat has actually come in really really handy because it kind of like shields everything absolutely love this bucket hat and as you can see it's it's pretty cute like okay so we've got two more things and then i'll leave you alone i promise so the next thing i made were these shorts which are style arcs ellen short now i've had this pattern for a little while i think they came out like last summer and um yeah i picked i picked up the pattern and then i never made them and i don't i don't really know why but like they're really really cute super relaxed and i made it out of like the last of my white linen um i really really like this pattern for like many many reasons one it's a completely elasticated waist so these are like pull on shorts there are no flies or anything like that you need to think about the way that it's been constructed the belt loops are actually really really nice you might not see but you've got three belt loops in the back and then the front two belt loops are actually the top of the pocket which is really really cool so the pocket actually goes in like this and it's sewn on the front almost like a patch pocket but this top bit here is actually the very top of the pocket and then the belt goes underneath it and it's on both sides so I thought that was a really really nice feature and then you've got some really nice deep pockets and these are like super super loose and relaxed I made these in a size 10 but I've recently lost a little bit of weight and they were actually huge when I put them on so I actually graded down to I think probably a size 8 I graded down one size and they're still quite big and relaxed but I think that's the kind of look that I want to go for with these these are the sort of things that you'd like wear to the beach you put on some flip-flops maybe even throw on some trainers and just kind of be about your day some sandals like really nice relaxed trousers and I made them in the linen so they're nice and airy and breezy definitely for that summertime beach life so absolutely love these really really easy to come together i think there was only like four or five pieces for the whole thing and i think it came together in about 90 minutes so i think it's a really really great pattern i have a linen which is like a sand sandy color which i think i might have a go and make another pair but maybe grade them down so they're a little bit smaller not as not as big on the legs so we got like a slim slimline version i think that I might do that so that I can uh, wear some more relaxed shorts over the summer. But those ones are really, really good. I'll leave the pattern link below so you guys can have a look for yourself. And we are on the final item. So you guys have already seen this one before because I made an entire video about this dress. But it had to be included because I did make it in May. And it was this thrift transformation. If you haven't seen this video, then I will link it above. And you guys can watch how uh, I started this, like the ideas, how I came up with it. It is long-winded and I know a lot of people were just like oh wow this is a lot of effort so if you haven't watched the thrift transformation video yet I will kind of link it above so you guys can watch it but if you haven't watched it and is wondering what the hell is going on this dress used to be like an 80s style just like normal pleated skirt dress um, the dress was kind of ugly but I loved the fabric so when I was in San Francisco I saw it in the charity shop and I picked it up for I think like I think it was like nine dollars i was like okay we're taking this and um yeah i've had it in my home for about uh, like one or two years for like a long time and i keep wanting to do something with it and um never really deciding on what it was and last month i just decided nope i'm gonna make something really cute from this um and then i made this video because there was so much fabric i actually decided instead of just 
taking in or altering the actual original dress. I would take it apart completely and use the pieces as fabric to create something completely new. I then went on to Pinterest and found a dress that I really liked the look of from a brand called Shona Joy. I think the dress is called the Zella dress. It's not available anymore, but I absolutely love the big puffy sleeves and the open back and the ruffle at the bottom. And then I went about recreating it from scratch. So a lot of looking at photos. I use some blocks that I already have that are basically my body size. I ended up making two versions before I had a version that I thought was good enough to become the real thing. It wasn't until then that I finally unpicked the whole dress, which took me a good hour or two. Then I used the pattern pieces that I'd made um, and used it as fabric to then go ahead and make this dress. And at some point I didn't think I was actually going to be able to get like these really, really big sleeves that I have, but it turned out really, really well in the end. And I absolutely love this dress. I'm so glad that we'll be able to like go out and socialize a little bit more over the next month or so, because I'll finally have a reason to wear this dress because I think it's gorgeous. This print is gorgeous. I love that it's um, backless. I love that I lined it. There's like so much that I love about this dress. And you guys really, really loved it too. I got like over like 300 comments on that video, which is the most comments I've ever got ever about anything. So you guys definitely had some opinions. And um, yeah, the general consensus is that you guys definitely want to see a pattern on it. Now, I don't know if I will call it the Shona Joy dress because obviously that is like plagiarism but I think I will make a version of this that isn't the exact same as the dress that I copied because obviously I don't want to just be like ripping off somebody else's design although most of fashion is pretty much like that so what I'm going to do is make a variations with a closed back version a lot of you really like the dress design but would like maybe no opening in the back so maybe we make a dress that has different options like a lot of patterns have different sleeve variations we can do it sleeveless we can do it with an open back we can do it with a closed back with a ruffle without a ruffle something like that so it is in development but I didn't realize how like time consuming difficult and like long the process of making a pattern into a pdf pattern you've got like making the pattern you've got all the grading i have to make sure that like everybody is included so you have sizes from like size zero all the way to like size 30 making sure that you have testers testers basically are people who will test and sew your pattern in uh, all the different sizes so that they can identify any problems with fit so there's this so much so yeah i thought i'd be able to get this out quickly <laughs> i was very much mistaken so yes you might not get it very soon but just know that this is in the works i'm definitely going to be doing it uh, as well as there's some other designs now that i've been thinking of that i definitely want to like have as a pdf pattern so i'm very excited because like this is looking like the start of you know the craftopreneur patterns which is crazy when you think about it so um so yeah stay tuned it's not going to be coming out this month but as long as you guys can stay patient when i come out with something hopefully it will be something that works and i definitely want your feedback guys so like you know just bear with me while i figure this out by myself yeah it is a big job to do on your on your lonesome when you don't really know anything. So I think I might have to like hire some people to help me because there is no way I'm gonna be able to do this all by myself, but I am very excited. So yeah, like if anything, this is like uh, my attempt to make 2020 end on a high note and not like this horrific nightmare that's like never ending because that's what it kind of feels like at the moment. I guess, I guess we're starting a pattern company okay anyway let's not get ahead of ourselves i'm just like super excited because this seems to have been the dress that has sparked all of this thinking but um yes if you guys want to see the full process of how i got to this dress uh stress outs and all then i will link everything below and there should be a card at the top as well but that is it guys that is everything that i made in the month of may so thank you guys for watching to the end of the video if you enjoyed then hit that like button let me know what you think in the comments would you like to see a craftopreneur patterns that that feels really weird to say guys but like 
it could be a th it could be a thing and have you guys made a bucket hat yet because if you haven't then you should get the free pattern down below and go make yourself one and if you haven't already then subscribe and if you have subscribed make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be part of the notification gang because i always make sure that i'm in the comments in that first hour so if you're part of the notification gang you want to say something it's very likely in that first hour or so i'll probably reply to you so that's it guys thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video